Welcome to a demonstration on how to create a company in Sage Simply Accounting. This presentation is presented by iaccountingtraining.com and its sister site simplytraining.ca. Whether you are starting out with a brand new company or have an existing company and moving your data and information into Simply Accounting, your first step is creating a company. We will demonstrate the steps to create a company. You will learn what preparation information you require, how to set up Simply Accounting using the Setup Wizard and also using the Select Company template, and provide you with a checklist of next steps of what to do after your company is created. Before we get started creating a company, let's review what information we should prepare. We will need your company name and address information. Also, your company's accounting dates. This will be your fiscal year start and end dates. Also, we will need to know your company's ownership. Are you a sole proprietorship, partnership, or corporation? If you're unsure of any of this information, we recommend that you consult with your accounting professional. Also, when we create a company, we will be saving the new company database on the computer. Although Simply Accounting automatically selects a default location, it is recommended that you create a folder under your C drive to save the database to. If you are on a network, it would then be the network drive. Also ensure the folder has the proper access permissions. Now let's begin to create a company in Sage Simply Accounting. To start Sage Simply Accounting, you can either select the icon on your desktop or select the program from the Start menu. We're going to select the icon from the desktop. We've double-clicked on the icon and the first window that should display is what we call the Select Company window. Displayed on your screen is the Select Company window, and today we're going to be creating a new company. It is the second selection down, Create a New Company. We're going to select it and click OK. In the window, we have what we call the Welcome to the New Company Setup Wizard, and this wizard is going to help us to set up our company. Today I am using the Accountants Edition, and you'll see that it has step number two. It says Edition. If you are using Simply Accounting Pro, Premium, or the Enterprise Edition, you will not have this selection. In this window, it asks us the question, are you converting your Canadian version of QuickBooks 2010 or 11 for Microsoft Windows? The answer today is no, and help me create a company. Let's select next in the bottom of the window. In the Accountants Edition, it does state which version that you would like to set up, and we're going to do the demonstration on the Sage Simply Accounting Premium 2012 Edition. I've selected it, now I'm going to click Next. In this window is where we're going to enter in our name and address information. The name of our company, an example today, is as uh, JR's um, Heating and Air Conditioning. Now moving from field to field in Simply Accounting is easily done. You can do it with your mouse to move to the next field, or you can also press the tab key on your keyboard. So let's enter in the address, and I will use the tab key. Now when you select the province when you are creating your company, Simply Accounting will identify what the taxes are automatically for that province. So we are in the province, uh, today's example is Ontario, Ontario has HST and when we get into um, looking at company settings that you will see that those taxes will automatically be set up for your province. We are now in the postal code field and postal code code fields anytime you enter in a postal code, even if you enter it in, in lowercase numbers, when you press the tab uh, key or go to the next field, notice that Simply Accounting automatically will do the correct uh, postal code format. 
In the phone field, if you type in the 10-digit number, again, if you press the tab button or go to the next field, Simply Accounting will automatically do the correct separation for you. Once when your company's information is complete, let's select the next button below. In this window is your company's date, so we are going to enter in your fiscal year start, earliest transaction date, and also your fiscal year end date. Today's example is we will do a proprietorship a business that runs from January 1st to December 31st, 2012. So you can either select the calendar in the fiscal year start and select January 1st, or you could also enter it in from your keyboard. Now notice when we selected the fiscal year start date that Simply Accounting automatically put in the fiscal year end date which is a 12 month period later. The earliest transaction date is the date that you're going to be recording your first transaction in Simply Accounting. Once when your dates are completed let's select next at the bottom of the window. In Simply Accounting, we have, very, we have various um, templates that are available with your company's information um, chart of accounts already set up. So we're going to select the first one, which is recommended, and to have Simply Accounting create a list accounts based on your business type. We're going to select Next at the bottom of the window. Now in this window is how Simply Accounting is going to name some of our accounts. For example, the first selection is the ownership structure. Notice when we select the ownership structure we have sole proprietorship, is this a partnership that you're setting up, or an incorporated company. By selecting the correct ownership structure, Simply Accounting will automatically put in the correct equity accounts. Let me show you. I'm going to first of all select sole proprietorship. At the very bottom of the window, you will see the button that says View List of Accounts. I'm going to click this button and you can view the list of accounts from the ownership structure that you have selected. I'm going to take you down to the equity account so that you can see when you select the correct ownership structure, uh, Simply Accounting will automatically put in the correct equity account terminology. So a sole proprietorship, yeah, their equity is owner's equity. You can see it automatically sets up accounts for owner's contributions and withdrawals. I'm going to select OK at the bottom of the list. Now let me just show you one more example is uh, for if you select ownership structure of incorporated company. Again, I will just take you down to view the list of accounts and take you down to the equity accounts and you can see the terminology has changed based on the ownership structure and that Simply Accounting puts in the correct accounts, for example, loans from shareholder and also the share capital accounts. Today's example, we're going to select a sole proprietorship. Next is selecting the industry type, and I'm just going to click the drop-down menu here. By selecting the industry type, Simply Accounting will automatically name your revenue and expense accounts, and also some reports will be industry-specific. Today we're just going to select um, the other industry type and also you can see down below we have the company type and again today's example we're just going to select a generic company. If you are using Simply Accounting Premium or the Enterprise Edition, you can expand, expand your account ranges. I'm just going to click the Account Ranges button here just so that you can see. When Simply sets up your chart of accounts, the automatic default number of digits of accounts is four digits long. If you are using the Premium or the Enterprise Edition, you do have the availability to expand those account numbers. So now that we've selected our ownership structure, industry type, and company type, I'm going to select the next button at the bottom of the window. This is the last window before we are finished setting up our company, and we're going to enter the name of the company file. So this is naming the file. 
notice that Simply Accounting automatically selects from the company information name field, or if you want to name it another company or another name, you can definitely redo it in this window here. Next is enter the location where you would like to store the company file. Earlier we had mentioned saving the data and where you want to save it on your computer. So we're going to go in and select Browse, and today I'm going to select the desktop, and we're going to save it into our Simply Accounting into our company data file and click OK and Next. Once when you have finished all of the windows, the last window is to select Finish and Simply Accounting will begin to set up and save your data to the location where you had you had sent it to. So I'm going to select Finish here and Simply Accounting will start to create the database. When the database has been completed, Simply Accounting will display, congratulations, you have successfully created your company. It also provides you with a few tasks you, you might want to consider in taking next steps. Select Close here, and it will, Simply Accounting will open up to the home window. In the home window of Simply Accounting, the first window that will pop up is what we call the Getting Started window. I encourage you to explore the Sage Simply Accounting free videos that are available within Simply Accounting and also information on how to add business records or if you would like to learn how to, there are resources available in this window. Now that your company has been created, we're going to go over a checklist of the next steps that we recommend you take. Displayed on your screen is a checklist of next steps that we recommend. Make sure that you review your company settings. Company settings are global settings within Simply Accounting that you can set up and customize for your particular business. Also to review user preferences. In the user preferences um, window and selections, you can set up your, your preferences that you prefer. Also, after you have set up your company settings and user preferences, go into your chart of accounts list and add and delete accounts that you do not require. You can also renumber accounts to be in a particular order and also rename accounts for your industry type. If you are an existing business and moving into Simply Accounting, you will then have to open, enter in your opening balances. And with those opening balance, if any of your customers, vendors, employees, or if you have inventory items, you will have to enter in the historical information. The last item that you will need to do is to close history, and closing history can be done any time within the first fiscal year. We hope this video has provided you with relevant how-to information. Please take the time to visit our website, iaccountingtraining.com or simplytraining.ca for information on complete courses on the Sage Simply Accounting program or other relevant accounting training. Thank you and take care.